Hello everyone, it's Paola and welcome to a new Theater Thursday video. Today I thought it would be a good idea to do sort of like a get to know the Antonio Awards nominees. The Antonio Awards is the award ceremony hosted by Broadway Black. I will link their website and their YouTube channel and their Facebook down below so that you can check them out. But basically they created the Antonio Awards, a ceremony that is going to take place on Juneteenth. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to celebrate black artists both on and off Broadway. I thought about a number of ways to sort of break down the nominations and the nominees so that we can talk a little bit about all of the things, not just the actors but also the plays. So hopefully this makes sense and hopefully this makes it a little bit more fun to get through. So the first category where I broke down per show was Best Revival. Nominees for Best Revival are For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide, West Side Story, Native Son, Fires in the Mirror, Little Shop of Horrors, and Two Can Play. First of all, we got For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide slash When the Rainbow is Enough. This show is about seven women of color who use poetry, song, and movement to tell their survival stories of having to exist in a world shaped by sexism and racism. So, our first nominee is Okuya Pogwasili. She is nominated for the category Best Featured Actor in a Play of Broadway. She is a performer, choreographer, and writer. And her work has been commissioned by the Walker Art Center Dance Space Project, Performance Space New York, among many other institutions. Next, we got Camille A. Brown. She is nominated for best choreography. She is a prolific black choreographer who is reclaiming the cultural narrative of the African-American identity. Her work taps into ancestral stories and contemporary culture to capture a range of deeply personal experiences. She is a five-time Princess Grace Award winner, a Ford Foundation Art of Change Fellow, Jacobs Pillow Dance Award winner, Guggenheim Fellowship recipient and Ted Fellow among many others. For best costume the show was nominated with Tony Leslie James. She is a costume designer for stage television and film. She was awarded the Irene Sharaf Young Masters Award and the 2009 Obie Award for Sustained Excellence in Costume Design. The next nominee is Nikki Mathis for best hair and wig design. She is the founder of Actresses Hair which specializes in wig design and styling for actors of color in film, TV, and theater. The actors she has styled include Wanda Wise from She's Gotta Have It, John Torturo from The Night Of, Andre Holland from Moonlight, Angela Lewis for Snowfall FX, among others. Our next show nominated for Best Revival is West Side Story. I don't think anyone needs to know what this show is about, but just in case, West Side Story is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet set in 1950s Manhattan, and it's about rival gangs. Our first nominee for West Side Story is Daron E. Jones. He is nominated for Best Featured actor in a musical on Broadway. This is actually his Broadway debut. Next we got Isaac Cole Powell. He's nominated for Best Actor in a Musical on Broadway. He made his Broadway debut as Daniel in the 2018 revival of One Sunday's Island and he recently appeared in a high-profile reading of Significant Other at the JCC in Manhattan. Next we got Shereen Pimental. She is also nominated for Best Actor in a Musical on Broadway. She is the recipient of a Kovner Fellowship at the Juilliard School and her theater credits include Young Nala in The Lion King on Broadway, Rod Show on Encores of Center, and Rapunzel from Into the Woods in Juilliard. Our next nominated show is called Native Son. In the south side of Chicago of the 1930s, Bigger Thomas takes a job in a wealthy white man's house, violently and irrevocably sealing his fate. The first nominee of that show is Lawrence E. Moten III for Best Scenic Design. He is a designer for plays, musicals, live events, and installation. His design work has been in New York City with Page 73 Productions, 
59E59 Theatres, Ensemble Studio Theatre, Sherry Lane Theatre, and Houses on the Moon, as well as the New School and Marymount Manhattan College. For Best Costumes, we have Sarita P. Fellows. Uh, her first experience with theatre happened while she was living in Kampala, Uganda. In her more recent works include projects such as Seize the King with the Alliance Theater, A Bright Room Called Day, co-designed at the Public Theater, Top Girls, and her portmanteau with the American Conservatory Theater. Our next nominated show is Fires in the Mirror, and the synopsis goes as follows. It is a one-person play by Anna Devere Smith, an African-American playwright, author, actress, and professor. It explores the viewpoints of people from Black and Hasidic Jewish people based in New York City who were connected directly and indirectly to the Crown Heights riot that occurred in Crown Heights, Brooklyn in August 1991. The nominee is Michael Benjamin Washington for Best Solo Performance. His theater credits include Mamma Mia, the 2005 revival of La Cage au Fall and Saturday Night. That wraps up the best revival category, so let's jump into the best play. The nominees are One in Two, Stu, All the Natalie Portmans, Blacks, Paris, and Tony Stone. First up, we got One in Two by Donja R. Love. Synopsis goes as follows. Three young black queer men are waiting to be chosen. When one of them is, he's forced to live a new reality inside a pandemic, exploring the joys, the gags, and the truth of not being defined by his diagnoses. The first nominee for the show is Leland Fowler for Best Featured Actor in a Play of Broadway. His credits of Broadway include Henry V, A Midnight Summer's Dream, and Measure for Measure. This show has also been nominated for Best Director with Stevie Walker Webb. He is the co-founder of the nonprofit cast. He's also the founding artistic director of the Jubilee Theater in Waco, Texas. As a director, he's credited with One in Two, Scraps, and A No Mo. And he's also the recipient of the Princess Grace Award for Theater and a fellow at the New York Theater Workshop. For best sound, we got Justin Ellington. He's a composer, arranger, music director, producer, educator, sound designer, and musician. He has collaborated with... Blah, blah, blah. He has collaborated with acclaimed playwrights such as John Ware, Lynn Laboot, Will Power, Marcus Gratley, Dominique Morisot, Dale Orlander Smith, John Robin Bates, and Adrian Kennedy. For Best Costume, Andy Jean was nominated. She has made the costumes for over 30 shows. Her show credits include Our Dear Dead Drug Lord, One in Two, Siblings Play, Amen Corner, Rags Parkland, Good Grief, Othello, and many more. Our next show nominated for Best Play is Tony Stone by Lydia R. Diamond. This show is based on the book Kerbal, The Remarkable Story of Tony Stone by Martha Ackman. Our first nominee for this show is for Best Lighting Design and his name is Alan Lee Hughes. His career began in 1969. He has 10 Broadway show credits including the original production of Once on This Island and he has created around 400 designs. Next up we got Cookie Jordan for best hair and wig design and her Broadway credits include Fella, The Motherfucker with the Hat, Lombardi, The Miracle Worker, A View from the Bridge, and South Pacific. Her best actor in a play of Broadway, the nominee is April Mathis and her theater credits include A Streetcar Named Desire, Fondly, Colette Richland, Hollow Roots, Melancholy Play, On the Levy, among others. Our next nominated show is All the Natalie Portmans by C.A. Johnson, and, and the synopsis for this one goes as follows. 16-year-old Kayona, who is extremely close with her older brother Samuel and her dreams of a better tomorrow. When brother and sister find themselves on the brink of eviction, their tenuous life on the edge of poverty is forever changed by a few hundred dollars, a pretty girl, and a famous Hollywood actress. Too smart, too gay, and too lonely to fit in, Fiona escapes by writing to her muse, Natalie Portman, in her most iconic roles. When all the Natalie Portman start talking back to her, Kayona finally has to face her own off-screen drama. The nominee for this show is Kara Young. She's nominated in the category of Best Actor in a Play of Broadway, and her theater credits include The New Englanders, Revolving Cycles Truly, Deadly Rolled, etc. Our next nominated play is Stu by Sora Howard, and the synopsis goes as follows. 
Tension simmer as three generations of Tucker women gather under one roof to help Mama prepare an important meal. Our first nominee is Colette Robert for Best Director. Credits include Behind the Sheet, Dead End, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, How My Grandparents Fell in Love, among others. The next nominee is one we already talked about. She is Nikia Mathis for Best Hair and Wig Design. And the last nominee that this show has is Portia for Best Actor in a Play of Broadway. And she is known for El Mensajero from 2009, Saint Vincent from 2014, and Nueva York en Escena from 2008. Our next nominated play is Blacks by Aziza Barnes. This is about Octavia, Imani, and June, three twenty-somethings in New York City hunting for intimacy and purpose in a city that doesn't seem to care. They drink a lot, they smoke a lot, and they try to have sex a lot. Our first nominee for this show is Robert O'Hara for Best Director. He is a playwright and a director and he has written Insurrection, a time-traveling play exploring racial and sexual identity, and Booty Candy, a series of comedic scenes following the character of Sutter, a gay African-American man growing from adolescence to manhood, which won the Lambda Literary Award for LGBT drama. Next, for Best Costume, we got Didi Ayit. Her Broadway credits include American Son and Children of a Lesser God. She's been awarded with a Lucy Lortel Award, a Helen Hayes Award, Jeff Award, among many others. Our next category is Best Musical. The musicals that are nominated are A Strange Loop, Tina, the Tina Turner Musical, The Wrong Man, Girl from the North Country, Jagged Little Peel, and The Secret Life of Bees. Secret Life of Bees synopsis goes as follows. South Carolina, 1964. Lily Owens, a restless white teenager, struggles with her merciless father and the haunting memory of her mother's death. When Rosaline, her black caregiver, is beaten and jailed for asserting her right to vote, Lily's rebellious spirit is ignited. She and Rosaline escape on an adventure where they are taken by a trio of black beekeeping sisters. While Lily tries to unlock the secrets of her past, she and Rosaline find solace in the mesmerizing world of bees and spirituality in this extraordinary tale of awakening, fellowship, and healing. This particular show excites me a lot because I love the book that this is based on and I really cannot wait to check out how it turned out. If Our first nominee is Seikan Sengblo for Best Featured Actor in a Musical of Broadway. The breakthrough happened in 2015 with her role in Eclipse, a play about five Liberian women and their tale of survival near the end of the Second Liberian Civil War. And her Broadway credits include Aida, Wicked, The Color Purple, Hair, Fella, Motown the Musical and Holler If You Hear Me. The show is also nominated for Best Orchestrations and Best Original Score, which were done by Duncan Sheik, who has done Spring Awakening, which won him two Tony Awards. And he has also written for other shows, including American Psycho and Alice by Heart. For Best Book, our nominee is Lynn Nodash. She is a playwright and a screenwriter first and remains the only woman to have won the Pulitzer Prize for drama twice. Our next nominee is La Chance for Best Actor in a Musical Off-Broadway. Off-Broadway, her credits include The Bubbly Black Girl Sheds Her Chameleon Skin, Dessa Rose Inked Baby, among others. On Broadway, her credits include Summer, the Donna Summer Musical, Color Purple, which earned her the 2006 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical, once on this island, if slash then, Ragtime Company, and others. Uh, La Chance was also nominated for Best Actor in a Play on Broadway for A Christmas Carol. Her next nominated musical is A Strange Loop. This one was recently awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Drama. A semi-autobiographical piece follows a young black queer artist at war with a host of personal and external demons as he attempts to understand his own strange loop. First up, we got John Andrew Morrison for Best Featured Actor in a Musical of Broadway. He is an actor and singer from Jamaica and he he has performed in theaters all over the USA and internationally. He has also been nominated for Best Featured Actor in a Play Off-Broadway for Blues for an Alabama Sky. Our next nominee is L. Morgan Lee for Best Featured Actor in a Musical Off-Broadway, whose performance in this same show also garnered her a Lucille Lortel Award nomination. For Best Choreography, Raja Feather Kelly is nominated. He is a dancer and a choreographer. He is notable for his radical downtown surrealist productions which combine pop and queer culture. 
He is the artistic director of his dance company called The Feather Theory, and he serves as the artistic director of the New Brooklyn Theater. Next up, we got another double nominee. Her name is Cookie Jordan. We already talked about her. She's nominated for Best Hair and Wig Design. We got Michael R. Jackson. He's nominated for Best Book, Best Original Score, and Best Orchestrations. He also recently won a Pulitzer Prize for this same musical. And finally, we have Larry Owens nominated for Best Actor in a Musical of Broadway. He has been listed by the New York Times as one of the best comedians of 2020. He's a performer, writer, director, and comedian, and he is the winner of the 2020 Drama Desk and Lucille Lortel Award. Our next nominated show is Tina, the Tina Turner Musical. This is a jukebox musical about the singer Tina Turner. The show is nominated for Best Orchestrations with Nicholas Skilbeck. For Best Book, Katori Hall is nominated. She's an Olivia Award winning playwright and the showrunner of P Valley, a new stars drama based on her play Pussy Valley, and she is best known for The Mountaintop, a play that fictionalizes the last night in Martin Luther King's life, which won an Olivia Award for Best New Play in 2010. The next nominee is Adrian Warren for Best Actor in a Musical on Broadway. Her Broadway credits include Shuffle Along, which earned her a Tony Award nomination for Best Performance by a Featured Actress in a Musical. She originated a role in Bring It On the Musical. Her next nominee is Daniel J. Watts for Best Actor in a Musical on Broadway. He's done eight shows on Broadway, including Hamilton in the Heights and Memphis. Her next nominated show is The Wrong Man. The synopsis goes as follows. Follows. The wrong man meets the wrong woman in the wrong place at the wrong time. Set in Reno, Nevada, The Wrong Man is the story of Duran, a man just scraping by who is framed for a murder he didn't commit, told through poetic lyrics and haunting melodies. First nominee is Alex Lacamoire for Best Orchestrations. He has won three Tony Awards and three Grammy Awards for his work on Broadway musicals like Hamilton, Dear Evan Hansen, and In the Heights. The next nominee for that show is Ross Gollan for Best Original Score. He is a multi-platinum songwriter, artist, podcast host, and advocate, and he has released songs with artists including Maroon 5 and Justin Bieber. Our next nominee is Shiara Renee. She is nominated for Best Actor in a Musical of Broadway, and her theater credits include Big Fish, Pippin, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, among others. Final nominee for that show is Joshua Henry. He is nominated for Best Actor in a Musical of Broadway, and his credits include Carousel, Hamilton, Godspell, In the Heights, and many more. Our next nominated musical is Girl from North Country. The synopsis goes as follows. 1934. A time-weathered guest house in the heartland of America. Only a song can shake up the dust for one group of wayward souls, and all dreams may hold the promise of new beginnings. As they pass in and out of each other's lives, their stories awaken with passion, fury, and extraordinary beauty. Reimagining the music of Bob Dylan as a roof-racing ensemble pieces and soul-steering solos, celebrated playwright Connor McPherson writes and directs this heartbreaking and universal story about family and love. Our first nominee is Jeanette Bayardell for Best Featured Actor in a Musical on Broadway. She's been on Broadway in Hair and the Color Purple, and she's also toured with The Color Purple. Our next nominee is for the category of Best Actor in a Musical on Broadway. Her name is Kimber Elaine Sprawl, and her theater credits include Beautiful, the Carol King Musical on Broadway, the Lion King on tour and Memphis in original production. Our next nominated musical is Jagged Little Peel. This is a jukebox musical featuring the music by Alanis Morissette and the synopsis goes as follows. The Healy's appear to be a picture-perfect suburban family, but looks can be deceiving. When the cracks beneath the surface begin to show, they must choose between maintaining the status quo or facing harsh truths about themselves, their community, and the world around them. The category is for Best Featured Actor in a Musical on Broadway, and the nominee is Celia Rose Gooding. Her theater credits include You're in Town, Fame, etc.